Hello everyone! Today I am here for an incredibly special episode. It's gonna be my first ever unboxing, but it's also the unboxing of possibly the best beauty calendar I have ever seen. And look, I'm like a pretty extreme bargain hunter when it comes to like luxury things. I'm all about like buying nice instead of buying twice. That's how I justify things. And I don't buy a lot of things. I usually just buy like one very nice thing. And I've always loved nice things. Um, I was on Instagram the other day and I like ran into someone I knew and she was all about like FIRE. For those of you who don't know, FIRE is financially independent, retire early. I believe and you live very frugally um, and you can you just like live off your investment incomes uh, you flip houses and I was like oh, maybe maybe like that's what I should be doing but instead I'm flipping beauty products the value in this calendar is unbelievable and I have known about this calendar for less than 12 hours so I went to the store and the, I made a beeline to make sure that they had them still um, put one aside because it's so heavy and then I decided to go shop around stores and I have not left the house to like go inside a store in so long and it's not like months okay we're talking about weeks but like I freaking love shopping okay and I haven't been in like a luxury department store in so long and I was genuinely like on the brink of tears I was like oh nice things not that I can buy any of those but you know like here I am shuffling in my Birkenstocks and I'm like ah the Balenciagas that look like socks you know it was just so so nice to see like holiday things and you know the holiday gift shops are up and Christmas trees anyways I'm sure you don't want to hear about how how much I freaking love shopping during the holidays. So without further ado, let me show you the Holt Renfrew 2020 beauty calendar. This cut off my circulation walking from like the beauty department to my car because it is so heavy. For those who are not from Canada or have never been to Canada, Holt Renfrew is like our Neiman Marcus. Up until very recently, there was no Nordstrom, there's no Saks Fifth Avenue, there's no Barney's. There's basically no luxury department stores, there's only Holt Renfrew. And if you want anything that's not like a regular mall store and you want design or anything, that is the one store we have. And yeah, um, so anyways, so that's Holt Renfrew, it's our luxury department store. And they have never done a beauty calendar before. I'm literally having trouble. Do not lick this, this is so expensive. <sighs> Alrighty, here she is. I have never made a beauty purchase like this extravagant ever, save for the West Mantillier stuff. That was all like luxury product research because I do have to know about absolutely everything going on in the beauty industry to really be able to position my startup. I like to put it this way, to understand your customer, one must become the customer. I knew like nothing about beauty like four years ago. And then I had like a project for my master's program and I started spending a lot of time around beauty counters and I started learning about beauty and that's why I have my startup now, Glow Marketplace, Glow Beauty. So, some facts. This beauty calendar retails for 475 Canadian dollars and all the prices I'll be talking about will be in Canadian dollars because we just need like a benchmark. I also have like the full spreadsheet of all like the retail values. Everything will be up on glow.co slash blog um, because I get such a high from knowing how much money I saved and I'm sure other people do too okay this is why subscription boxes are so addictive and fun to open even if you don't keep the stuff you're like I saved so much money yahoo hyper consumerism okay so 475 Canadian dollars is equal to 358 freedom dollars or 278 pounds so that kind of gives you a good benchmark for all the other 
other very famous beauty calendars that are released every year. So the Liberty Beauty Calendar this year went for 215 pounds and the net porte Luxury Beauty Calendar went for 300 freedom dollars. So this is a more expensive beauty calendar than those other two very popular luxury beauty calendars. However, I still think it's kind of worth it if you have the cash to spend. If you're like me and you have no expenses because you've moved back home and your parents pay for the roof over your head and the food on your table, then maybe you can spend a month of your minimum wage salary on a beauty calendar, okay? I got side hustles and uh, this costs more than I made in my last job. I don't even know what that job was. I sat on a beach for like three four hours watching a gorgeous sunset and I just had to pretend to roast a marshmallow. My marshmallow was even pre-roasted for me by the prop department. So yeah, by the way, my other side hustle is acting because I'm bootstrapping my startup from Toronto because it's where I can live for free and the film industry is huge in this city. So it's a good paying job that comes up infrequently. And when I am on set, I can do work from my phone. So yeah, that's why I have that side hustle. I also I used to work retail. Technically, I'm furloughed, so I don't work there anymore, even though I'm still an employee. But anyway, this is really freaking expensive, and I completely appreciate that. I just want people to know, but hopefully, if you can't get your hands on a beauty calendar, like a luxury beauty calendar, look, like, I can't either. I just don't have expenses. I also want to say that I'm probably not going to keep everything that's in here because it is so much. Anyways, I'll get to it later, but I'm thinking right now that some of this stuff will go up on Glow Marketplace. I'll probably put the prices at the retail value and then I'll set a date and whoever like gives me the best offer, I'll accept that and anything more than what I actually paid, I'll donate to charity. So yeah, I don't even know which way this thing opens. Hello, are you taped? Oh. <gasps> Ooh. How do you open? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, here we go. And I am freaking obsessed with the holiday print this year. It's like all over the store and I also bought some note cards for my Christmas cards with this print. Okay, so we got this cardboard thingy. So here we go. So how many full-size products do we have in here? Seven full-size products, two minis. And when I say a mini, it means that you can purchase that size of product and everything else that you can't buy that size of, I call it a trial size. And that's like all in the air table that I will make available on my blog. Do you go 25 to one or one to 25 for these things? I think you go one to 25 because 25 I see is in the middle. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the box. It has a Holt Renfro like suede bag. Look how beautiful this is. It's like gold. Okay, so what is in here? And this is just so amazing. Look at this tissue paper. I feel like I'm supposed to go 25 to one now because this first item is Augustinus Vader's The Rich Cream. And this is a mini. You can actually buy the size. And this has been like the beauty product that everyone is lusting over. So this is 15 milliliters of product. So it's full retail value is $112. But in the whole scheme of this whole calendar, we paid $36 and 19 cents. Um, and there's supposed to be like all kinds of like technology in here, like stem cell technology. Um, and what's interesting to know is that this is just slightly cheaper than La Mer. And I believe way more worth it because there's actually like more updated technology, whereas La Mer is really just like very well processed petroleum jelly with a bunch of other stuff and marketing and this like story behind it that really hypes it up. Like the ingredients are truly nothing special. They just made it feel really luxurious. And it's that like psychology of like, this feels luxurious, so it must be, so it must work. Um, it works fine as like a moisturizer, but is it anything fancy? No. Do I think this is fancy and justifies its very high price tag of I think it was like $245, $225? I don't know. And honestly, if I was to use this and a lot of the other products in here, I don't know if they're gonna work, okay? I'm not like old enough to have the wrinkles or even like very many fine 
fine lines that I'd be able to tell. Um, all I have is like some very faint acne scarring that is less noticeable when I use a very good moisturizer. But other than that, I don't have any skin problems. <laughs> yeah, so all of the luxury beauty calendars here have included an August Dennis Bader cream. So when I saw that whole Renfrew not only had a beauty calendar, but they did it right, I was so, 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 so excited. Now, let's do number two. Oh, do they all have this like lovely little pouch? That seems kind of excessive. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these pouches. What is in here? Oh, it smells nice. It smells expensive. Okay, okay. First thing we have is Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. Also for all the matte, what I did was I believe I used the smallest product you could get. So like if you were to buy the full size of any of these products, I use like the smallest volume product that you could buy. It kind of inflates the whole retail value of everything a little bit because you're not buying the biggest size possible and usually there's savings when you buy a bigger size. Um, but I just wanted to be like more realistic. So anyways, it's 100 milliliters and it costs $186. The retail value of this is $16.74 and we paid $5.41. I believe in here is probably gonna be the cutest candle of all time. This is Peony and Blush Suede. This candle is half the size of their travel size candles, which go for $48. So this is $24 worth of candle. And we paid $7.75 for it. I've never had a Jo Malone candle. I've always wanted one. Okay, moving on to number three. Number three, my favorite number. Okay, so it is looking like most of these guys come with this pouch. I would have really loved a makeup bag with this print on it because I know Liberty includes a little makeup bag so I can travel with all my stuff. Ooh! So when I saw a more Pacific, I was like, oh, this is a brand I can get at Sephora. Ugh, we're too luxe for that life now. But this is like, it's called the Time Rescue line. Okay, we have the serum, the eye cream, as well as just the, the regular cream. Let's start off with the eye cream. This has three milliliters. The full size comes with 15, which is standard for eye creams. And it goes for $320. Which means that the retail value of this is $64 for three milliliters of product. That's tiny. Anyways, we paid $20.68 for this guy. For the Skin Reserve Cream, this is eight mils. A full size has 50. It sells for $550. So the retail value of this is $88 and we paid $28.43. My face is not worth this cream. Like, oh wow, that's, okay, really? This is so fancy, I don't even know what, like, which is the top and which, how do you even open this? What the heck, oh sorry, I probably ruined it. Okay, what, what, oh. Don't worry, I'm not exhaling on it. Okay, that is super fragranced. Wow, okay. Well, this is certainly very unique packaging. I haven't looked into what makes this warrant the price of $550. So possibly in the blog, I will follow up and see what is the special sauce in here. But with that amount of fragrance, I don't know. Like, I'm not one of those people who are like, fragrance is gonna ruin your skin, blah, 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 blah. But it certainly isn't helping your skin, you know? Yeah, so with a retail of $64, that's how much I pay for like my use to the people like the whole jar. The last one is the Skin Reserve Serum. This is five milliliters. The full size has 30 and it goes for $650. So this little guy is worth $108 and we paid $35 for this little guy. So there we go. I know that there's expensive skincare and I know that La Mer is not top of the top of the top on that pyramid. Like there's Dr. Barbara Sturm who sells hyaluronic acid for I don't know how much, but it's way too much but you know like I guess if you have money to burn but like are you really getting like Ferrari technology I don't know I don't know for cat's love what is in here now my favorite thing about this calendar was that they didn't include Mario Badescu which is not luxury how they like found their way into Liberty and like Saks I don't know that stuff is absolute garbage 
Like, the ingredients are so terrible. It literally blows my mind. At the store I used to work at, we sold it and we sold a lot of the facial sprays. Terrible. Just absolutely terrible. My skin wants to peel off from looking at the ingredient list. I just feel like people should really like learn more about ingredients and like what you're putting on your face because products really are not made equal. Okay, so I have not tried this brand. It's Virtue. Blue, blue. Quiet, please. This is the other mini size product that you can buy. So this is 50 mils which retails for $40, and we paid $12.92 for it, so 13 bucks, which is pretty cool. Number five. Ah, okay, we have Valmont, the detox cream. This is a Swiss brand I had never heard of until I saw this in this beauty calendar, and when I bought it, they also gave me a bunch of other samples from this brand. Why is it so special? I don't know. This is 20 mils, a full size is 45 mils, and retails for $315. So that's cool. Which means that the retail value of this is $140 and we paid $46. Doesn't that feel good? You just kind of like get a high from like, wow, I saved like hundreds of dollars. Hundreds. You saved $100 by buying it through this beauty calendar. Number six, number six. Honestly, if I got this as a gift, I would be like jumping out of bed every day to open one of these drawers. Okay, so this is uh, 111 Skin, the Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Mask. You just get one single guy. If you were to buy this, they come in a pack of six uh, for $145, which means that this is $24, and we paid $7.81 for this guy. Okay, what's in it? Oh, ay ay ay. Okay, it's actually like, it's not that bad, but um, I, I can't use this. I can't use propylene glycol or anything that's kind of similar because it makes my skin peel off. Like my skin just falls off, which was like a, you know, a fun little discovery. We continue, ooh, this smells French. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Dipty candle. This is in the berries fragrance. I have never had a dipty candle. This is like so pungent. I don't know if I can actually keep this because I am really sensitive to scents. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, I had a friend who was like, I got a bougie candle. Uh, Cause a lot of candles say bougie on them. This says bougie parfumé. Bougie is just French for candle. So, so yeah, this just says scented candle in French. Bougie parfumé. This is again, half the, just like the Jo Malone one, half the size of the travel size that you can buy. So this is 35 grams. Travel size is 70 grams. Uh, and you can buy it for $49. So this, Retail value is $24.50. Um, and we paid $7.92. This just feels good. You can't even you can't even get like a like a regular candle for that much. Number eight. This is the Foreo Luna Play. I have the Foreo Luna Fofo, which is garbage. <laughs> Mine just stopped working. I believe this one is the non-rechargeable one. Yeah, this one lasts 100 uses and is not rechargeable. This goes for $59 and we paid $19 for it. Do, 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 do. This one has some heft. Ah, okay, so this is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharge Complex. And this is a full size item. Yeah, so you get 15 mils, it sells for $85 and we paid $27.46 for this. My mom loves the Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair Serum, um, and it, it has some good ingredients in it. it. It's not like the best of all time. Overall, like it's actually a pretty good product for like a beauty counter brand. Ooh, okay. This one has a kind of a fun, oh, I know what this is, I know what this is. This is the Byredo. Maybe? Actually, it's Sisley. So this is the Sisley Paris Pre-Shampoo Purifying Mask with White Clay. Again, another very luxe brand. We get 15 mils in this one. Full size has 50 mils and retails for $114, which means that the retail value for this guy is $34.24, and we paid $11.05 for this guy. Okay, number 11. 
So this is the Suzanne Kaufman oil bath for the senses. Ooh, it has a little sprig of something something in there. So this has 30 mils of product. The full size comes with 250 mils and retails for $91, which means that the retail value for this guy is $10.92. And we paid $3.53 for this guy. Ons, dos, tres is next. Ooh, okay. Westman Atelier, you guys. This is the lit highlight stick. The only Westman Atelier product I don't have other than the eye brushes because... I can't do eyeshadow for shit. So I just use my fingers for the iPods, which is also like, I was kind of disappointed by the iPods. But y'all can read about that on the blog or watch my very long video. But uh, this is the only one I don't have because I generally don't really love highlighters that have a bit of a tack to it. And I've never tried it, but I felt like it might. And I had a nude stick that looked kind of similar. It has like a nice pearlescence. Like, look how beautiful this packaging is. I'm obsessed with Westman Atelier because I love her philosophy surrounding ingredients. This is truly like the ultimate no compromise brand. And also the packaging is so unbelievably luxe and innovative, not sustainable but it looks beautiful. This guy is the full size product and it retails for $64 and you get five grams of product. We paid $20.68 for Westman Atelier. And remember you guys, those are Canadian dollars. So in freedom dollars, that's gonna be something like 12 bucks. So um, that is so exciting. And again, like I really don't know what I'll be keeping, if I'll be keeping any of this. I really don't need any of this. I would kind of like much rather spread the joy and the high of how much you get to save by letting other people have some of this stuff. 13. Ooh, okay. I think this is the Byredo. I've always wanted something from Byredo because when I worked in Milan, I worked in niche fragrances, so I would sniff absolutely every niche fragrance brand there was until I had a migraine and like had to go home and like nap it off. But I love the vibrato aesthetic. I love the candles. And this is the rinse-free hand wash. So this is like really fancy hand sanitizer, I guess. Okay, water, alcohol, denat, sweet almond oil. I don't really get it. Like, does this even clean your hands? It, does this prevent germs or is this just like, okay, it doesn't seem super liquidy. I don't know how this works, but it's Byredo and I'm excited to own a Byredo thing, even if I might not keep it. Um, this is a full size product and it goes for $45. And in this beauty advent calendar, we paid $14.54 for it, which is pretty sweet. I wonder if it's sealed. Can I sniff you? Can I sniff you? Oh, shit. Well, I guess I'm keeping this one. Well, now we will find out what rinse-free hand wash is. Washing my hands, washing my hands. It kind of smells like old people's soap. Are you sticky? Okay, it's drying down. It doesn't have as much of a tack. Do I think this is gonna protect me from COVID? No. <laughs> no, it has like a really like soapy scent to it. I, I really don't know how to describe it other than your grandma's soap. I thought that would smell better. It's okay. Okay, oh, another tubey thing. See, if I open this one first, I would be like, this is the vibrato. This is Lockwood, New York. It's a body wash in rosemary and geranium. This is a brand I've only ever encountered at Holt Renfrew. And I think their products are beautiful and not like crazy expensive. Um, lovely for gifting, especially if the person you're gifting it to is named Lockwood. Anyway, so this is 40 mils. The full size comes with 473 mils for $60, which means that the retail value of this guy is $5.07, and we paid $1.64. Moving on, moving on. Boop. Ooh, it's Oribe. Um, this is the Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. Okay, so this is 20 mils. Full size comes with 175. Retails for $55, which means that the retail value of this is $6.29, and we paid $2 for it. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, hi, hi. No, this is not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. No, no, no. You cannot have. Okay, again, this is a brand I had never heard of until I looked at the contents of this beauty calendar. It is 
Maison Francie Kirk Dion. This is how you spell it. Okay, it is a perfume. You get five milliliters in each of these guys. A full size comes with 70 mils and retails for $290, so, which means that the retail value of these guys is $20.71 each, and we paid $6.69. Okay, so one of them is like the gold scent and the other one is the silver scent. And I have no idea what these guys smell like. Look at that. This smells like rich people. I really don't know how else to describe that other than someone very wealthy has just walked by. I don't know how to describe scents. I just know when something smells expensive. I see how these are like a same same but different different kind of situation. Someone who wears this drives a Rolls Royce. Yeah, this is, it's definitely for someone, but it's definitely not for me. I'm very into like green scents. Spilosticos uh, by Diptyque is kind of like my favorite. And I mean, my favorite, it's the sample I keep going back for at Nordstrom for free because it's still like way too expensive for something that I'm allergic to. We only have a few more to go. Ba -doop, ba -doop. This is, oh, this is Clay de Po. Do you know Clay de Po is actually a Japanese brand? It is not French. This is a softening cleansing foam. Okay. Anything to do with foaming action or whatever, it's actually a marketing thing. You don't need foam to clean. Foam just makes you feel like things are getting cleaner. So this is 20 mils. A full size comes with 110 mils for $95. And the retail value of this is $17.27. That was 17. Now we are moving on to number 18. What do we have here? <gasps> Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford's lip color in fucking fabulous. And this is full size. So it comes with three grams, retails for $71, and we paid $22.94 for it. This is just sculptural. Even though I think generally Tom Ford, it's like posh, but like a really stuck up on too good for you kind of posh. And also they are one of the only brands that still use animal musk, which comes from the anal sacs of this special deer and you have to like kill the deer to get their anal sacs and then once you dilute the fluid that's in there you get that addictive musky scent except there's now ways to get that scent artificially animal cruelty it's hard to justify killing a whole deer for its poo poo sacs i think this is like just so so beautiful i really want to keep it because I'm such a lip product junkie. And I always have been. Started with lip smackers, you know? Oh, this one's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Smells soapy, smells French. I know why it smells soapy and French. Because it is soap. This is the Creed Love in White Soap. This is full size, so 150 grams. It retails for $63. And we paid $20.36 for it. Do you see this like beautiful detail? Oh, you can kind of see, you can't really see the glare, but we have just a few more to go. Okay, so we have Chantecaille, Jasmine, and Lily Healing Mask. This is 15 mils, full size is 50 mils, goes for $120, which means that the retail value of this is $36, and we paid $11.63. Sweetie! Oh, it's Hermes! Wow, what a pretty little pouch. So a full size of this is 50 mils, this one is 15 mils. Full size goes for $114, which means this is $34.20 worth of product, and we paid $11 for it. So far, none of the fragrance trial sizes have felt dinky or cheap, like they all feel super substantial and kind of worth it that they came this beauty count. Oh, Canadian Beauty Awards. But it's made in Iceland. Is it a Canadian company? No, it's an American company. So this is BioEffect EGF Serum. Age-defying serum. Revives, restores, rehydrates. And this is five mils of product. A full size comes with 15. Retails for $220, which means that this is worth $73.33. And we paid $23.69 for this guy. It is sealed, so I'm not going to open it. What is this special about this? It's just glycerin, water, sodium hyaluronate, 
which is hyaluronic acid, sodium chloride, barley, seed extract, EGF. Look, some kind of peptide. Doesn't seem that special, but okay. I mean, that I would totally use. Now, the worst part about getting all these items is that if I fall in love with any of them, I cannot buy the full size. So there's that reality. Ooh, is this Gucci? I was told there was an exclusive Gucci limited edition lipstick in here. This seems too lightweight to be Gucci. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes, Volume 2. So you get four mils, full size is 10 mils, goes for $38, which means we paid $4.91 for this. And it is $15.20 worth of product. The Charlotte Tilbury mascaras have, I haven't tried one that works out for me. So this one I will definitely not be keeping. Even though I, I love Charlotte products, I just don't think that the mascaras are for me when it could just bring someone else so much more joy. Okay, we're down to the last two. La Mer. And these don't frequently come up in beauty boxes. Um, so this is pretty exciting. Each of these are seven mils, which is half the size of the mini that you can buy. And it costs $125, which means that these are worth $58.33 each. It costs $18.85. Yeah, they're just like these teeny, teeny, tiny little pots like a tiny version of the big guys. These ones I will for sure not be keeping. I, I mean, like I really have to give props to Estee Lauder for like keeping the hype of this product up and going strong for so long. Okay, so if you haven't guessed, the last product, this has to be Gucci, right? Here she is. I am so excited about, oh, it's a glitter lip color. Okay, that's fascinating. That was not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be like the regular sheer color um, in goldy red, but it is glitter. Oh my gosh, but look at this packaging. I love like the kind of art deco inspired etchings and I believe this packaging is exclusive to Holtz and this beauty calendar. It comes in Holt Renfrew pink. Oh, that is quite bling bling. You see that? I really wanted a Gucci lipsticks because I love the packaging. I love like the vintage rose print because I'm a basic bitch millennial. It's the millennial brand apparently. Good that the glitter is synthetic fluoroglophite and not like phthalates because we don't need more microplastics in our ecosystem at all. So that's kind of good. And this is a full size product. It comes with 3.5 grams. It goes for $55 and we paid $17.70 for this guy. That is all 25 items in the Holt Run Free Beauty calendar. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy this? Do you want any of these items? And if you do, which ones? Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Give us a like on Facebook. I'm the founder of a startup called Glow Beauty. And right now, our first project, we have an early version of Glow Marketplace. It's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for beauty lovers to rehome their unloved beauty items. Because for me, I'm a shopaholic. I can't resist a good deal such as this. And sometimes we, you know, we don't need to keep everything and rehome it with someone who would really, really appreciate it. I hope this is like some lighthearted content for you. I know that right now the world is in a state and there's so much uncertainty, but sometimes we can just, you know, find joy in the everyday things. Like I still think that beauty has such a place in our world right now because we all need an escape and whatever sparks joy, you should cling on to that because there's just a lot of really heavy stuff going on right now. I wish you all the best and I will see you all soon. Okay, don't need anything. Can you sit please? Sit, sit, sit. Sit. Mm. Excuse me?